Well, hello and welcome to another episode of Chewing the Brew. Today I will be drinking and enjoying a collaboration between Ale Smith Brewing Company and Other Half, their Hop Cipher Double Dry Hopped West Coast Style India Pale Ale. Um, Ale Smith is a brewery out of San Diego. I've had several of their beers before and generally enjoyed them. I believe their um, Oktoberfest beer from last year was one of the beers that I've actually reviewed for the channel. <clears throat> Recently, I have drunk a few fresh hot beers and posted reviews for most of those. Um, a dry hopped beer doesn't simply mean that it's the opposite of a fresh hopped beer. Um, there are multiple ways to use the hops that have been kilned, that is, that are not fresh, um, and not all of those are dry. There's a common method of, well not super common, it's kind of advertised, um, wet hopping. I'm not sure all the details of how that works, but just know that dry hopped does not mean the opposite of wet hopped, or the alternative to wet hopped, sorry. Dry hopped does not mean the alternative to or the opposite of fresh hopped. Um, I understand most beers are generally dry hopped and I believe that simply means that dry hops are added to the the wort at various parts of the process, um, various places in the process. Um, anyway, so this is a double dry hopped which means it's a lot of hops, as in they added more than the normal amount of hops. So this is a West Coast IPA which means it focuses on the bitter, piney, resinous, stereotypical IPA flavors, as opposed to a Northeast or hazy IPA, which generally focuses more on the creamy and tropical flavors, or um, a UK and English IPA, which would be um, a different thing entirely. Anyways, so this is a West Coast style, double dry hopped India Pale Ale. Let's give it a try. Pouring very pale, that's nice. Oh, couldn't fit it all in. And it's gonna overflow. Ooh, already some very nice um, tangerine or mandarin orange. Um, a hint of mango. Maybe some grape in there? Not sure. Um, I mean, that's just from being this far away. Definitely a hint of orange peel, which will probably tend towards the piney resinous coming up shortly. Sorry, kids are playing outside, doors open. It's still a nice day here in late October. Um, in case there's odd background noises. No one's hurt till they're screaming. <laughs> um, so head retention is pretty good. The head is rocky, so we have variation in the bubbles. Um, the head's staying up there pretty well. The flavors, the, just the smell, the aroma of this is a very um, enticing aroma. Uh, it speaks to a very decadent hop character to this beer. Like lots of hops, well applied. Which, being a double dry hopped, that makes sense. You would expect there to be a lot of hop character throughout this. Up closer, it's pretty much more of the same. Um, not grape, just uh, tangerine and mango. Uh, very, very nice, very clean smell. I like that, it's a, it's a very pleasant smell. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so very pronounced juiciness right at the outset, definitely. Juicy, very juicy, uh, sweet juiciness. For a West Coast IPA, this is surprisingly not so bitter as it could be. I won't say there's no bitterness, but um, maybe there's two or three distinct flavor fields. There's the um, 
uh, the juiciness at the outset that's definitely uh, tangerine and mango and kind of citrus tropical notes. Uh, not really thick into the tropical, more into the uh, citrus or almost like a sunny delight kind of sweet pseudo orange flavor, but not artificial tasting. Um, then there's a kind of a confused period where it seems like the, the sweetness is kind of fading to this really clean water finish and some of the hop aromas are building then in your mouth and, and the hop, like that herbal bitterness. Yeah, okay. So that sweet juiciness kind of attenuates pretty quickly. It's there. It's not like it disappears right away, but it's fading pretty quickly. And then you're left with this nice lingering hot bitterness. Um, it's very pleasant. That's quite nice. I like that a lot. Um, very drinkable. The For being double dry hopped, the flavors are intense without being out of balance. I would have expected this to be like breathing green fire is the word that comes to mind. Uh, you know, as you're exhaling, you're just picking up this herbal bitterness of the, the hop um, and it's just overwhelming. But, but no, it's there and it reminds you that you just drank a really tasty beer or you just swallowed a really tasty beer and there's more there to enjoy. Um, but it's not overpowering or unpleasant and the, the different flavors work very nicely together. That, that juiciness, the bitterness, the nice fade, and then this really long tail of, of hop. It's quite nice. That's good stuff. I like that quite a lot. Very tasty. Um, so this has been Hop Cipher, which is a collaboration between Alesmith and Other Half. I do not believe have I have had any other Other Half brewers brewing beers. Um, and it is a double dry hopped West Coast style India Pale Ale. Um, and I highly recommend it if you can find it. Uh, Ale Smith is San Diego. I assume other half is also San Diego, but I don't actually know for sure. Um, Ale Smith is the official like, you know, brewer, publisher, releaser, whatever. They've got the, their, their main, their, their name more places on the can than other half does. Um, so this should be reasonably accessible anywhere up and down the West Coast. Uh, and if you see it in the store and you're a fan of well-crafted um, IPAs, don't let the double dry hop bit uh, put you off. Uh, this is a tasty beer that should be quite enjoyable. <laughs> Anyways, I'm Matthew. I've been chewing the brew. And I'll catch y'all on the flip side. <laughs>